brisket and I had a, 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 a huge brisket it's like 10 or 12 pounds but I cut it in half and so I have this and I'm going to do for the recipe we need brown sugar salt ground mustard garlic powder onion powder black pepper smoked paprika so we're gonna do uh, two tablespoons of the brown sugar just kind of eyeball it then the smoked paprika I'm gonna do two teaspoons Put the onion powder in there. I would say two teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of the garlic powder. One teaspoon of the ground mustard. you're going to do is you're going to stir this up. That's my baby playing the piano. <laughs> Press it in. It's okay if you go back in there and you season with this because this is all you're going to use it for. And right now it's about 11 o'clock and I will, um, after doing this, I'm going to um, put this in the refrigerator and just let it marinate and then I will put it in the crock pot tonight and just let it cook for around 
eight hours on low. Get all up in there. Look at that. No bricks get left alone. <laughs> And I also will make some barbecue sauce to go um, with this. And I'll share that recipe with you guys. Well. Okay, so now we're done. We're going to. Shortly. Oh, last night I forgot to let you guys see me put this inside of the crock pot. So, but all I did was take it. I took it out of the refrigerator and I just put it in the crock pot. And that was around like 9:30 or 10. And now it is 8:54 uh, in the morning, and I still have 41 more minutes to go. But this is how it's looking. And when I get done, all I'm going to do is just take the brisket out and put it in the oven on broil for about maybe five minutes. Oh, you have to just watch it to not let it burn. But uh, this has been going for 12 hours. You put it in your crock pot and put it on 12 hours, set it for 12 hours, and you're good to go. We'll be back. So the brisket is ready and is ready to be transferred to this pan. It's cooking sheet. Is it cookie or cooking? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna lift it up. Try to keep it from coming apart. Okay, so let's put it in here. I'm gonna save those juices to put it back in. So this is how it's looking. Can y'all see it? And so now I'm gonna transfer it to my oven. For about five minutes, we'll come back and let you see how it's looking. Okay, so it's been about three four minutes. This how it looks. So this is our finished product. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll um, let it rest for about, I guess about an hour before we cut it. So it's, um, so all the juices and stuff can get to where they're supposed to be. So for this, I'm going to put my stove on medium high. And I'm going to get some. We're making barbecue sauce, by the way. Some ketchup, and I'll save. I'm going to use about a half a cup of ketchup. And we'll do like maybe a fourth of brown sugar, a fourth a cup of brown sugar. Vinegar. I'm going to do maybe like a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Also, I'm going to do a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And this is the apple cider vinegar I use. I don't know. You 
don't have to use this kind, but this is what I used. My brown sugar. I apologize. And you can use any kind of ketchup you like. Just about a teaspoon. And I'll put just a little bit of mustard in there. I'm not making much. Maybe a teaspoon of mustard. So, we want to stir this up. I'm gonna go ahead and put. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a full cup of ketchup in there. We're gonna let that come to like a simmer. So I tasted it and I need a little bit more brown sugar, so I'm gonna put like maybe another teaspoon, which will add to it. Tablespoon brown sugar in here. So we're going to put this to the side and let it wait until we put our brisket so we can put some in there. So, we let it rest for probably like an hour and a half. So, I'm going to cut a little piece off put some brown piece sauce in there. Those juices. Ooh. Yeah, I see that. I got my hand on it. So I'm gonna put a little barbecue sauce on it. I'm gonna let my husband taste it. So there we have it. Biscuits with a burn in. 